<laughs> that was the CEO of Garuda that was, Airlines. That was so cool. We came to the hotel and they're actually not letting us stay here. Jordi just got stuck in the elevator. It's like five o'clock in the morning. We had like our surfboards and all of our luggage in there and he took out one thing and then he got stuck and went to the ninth floor. <laughs> he took me to the ninth floor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good morning. Finally made it to the airport after a, a whole week of trying to find the vaccine and trying to get um, like PCR tests and get all the things that we need while we're here in Jakarta. But we're at the airport and we're ready to go to Sumatra. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! The airport looks a little bit closed right now. We know it's not completely closed, but it's uh, hard to tell where we're going. We're just a little bit nervous and we want to make sure that our PCR tests, our vaccine, everything works because if it doesn't then they're not gonna let us board this flight they close the gate and we have to go through gate three okay cool there's a sign asking us to like download an app i guess do some contact tracing yeah, but all I, those people just entered without doing it i already have the app so first we have to validate our rapid tests I don't know why it says rapid test actually, because we have PCR tests. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 that is what I want for breakfast. I've had it before and it's so good. Another surfer. <laughs> Jordy's view while walking. Actually, that went super well. We were flying with Garuda this time and they didn't ask us to pay extra for our, like 100 yes. kilos of luggage or yes. 100 pounds. Yes, Tim, yes. What? Yes. Yet. Oh. Yeah, I think that they're not going to ask us. I think we're just going to have to put it in the bag drop area because they already put the tags on and everything. On Lion Air, they made us pay like a hundred dollars to bring our stuff to Sum Sumbawa. Sumatera. <laughs> to to Sumbawa. Oh, uh oh. Uh, there's nothing for me to hold on to that on that side. And then on Air Asia, we were only supposed to pay like maybe twenty dollars, but the people didn't know what they were talking about, and we had to pay like a hundred dollars anyway. Yeah, so be careful. So, so far we can recommend Garuda for like check bag fees if They're you're traveling with a ton of bags like us. The, the actual flight costs more, but when it comes to baggage and stuff, if you have extra baggage, it works out cheaper. See, we just drop it here. Nice. And we don't have to pay. Hello, sir. Tim's chosen to have Japan's number one beef ball for breakfast. I like beef. I don't know if that's a good idea for breakfast. Comment down below if you like that idea, if you think that's a good idea for breakfast. <laughs> So while Kim's having breakfast, I just wanted to tell you guys that we're at the international airport, which you might know already. We didn't see any places to get the vaccine. So they said that if you go to Garuda in Terminal 3 at the airport, that they might have an opportunity for you to get vaccinated. And we haven't really seen anything yet. A few moments later. We found the area where they're doing the vaccinations here at the customer service for Garuda. So if you're looking for that, you can find it here. We're not sure if it's for, if you're allowed to get it as a foreigner. Because we already got ours. Foreigner can. You oh. can vaccinate, uh, but don't stay. Oh, okay, you can? Oh, oh thank don't you. Stay. Starting today. Okay, Starting today? Cool. Okay, so, so if you need to get a vaccination here, the but doing the kitas, yeah. Kitas, yeah? Kitas. Have to have oh, kitas. Okay. So, uh, sorry, but yeah. it's chargeable. It's chargeable. For foreigners, you, you need to pay. How much? 400. Okay. 400, cool. Thank cool. you. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Helpful. Pretty much it. You pay 400,000 and you go downstairs if you have a Kitas. But there's still not much information about if you don't have a Kitas. But we have a friend again who has some information for us. So we'll let you know as soon as we know. Guys, that was the CEO of Garuda that was, Airlines. That was so cool. Yeah. That was so crazy. Amazing. The one guy like came up to me behind, like right after we stopped filming Jordy. And he was like, by the way, 
That guy that's talking to your friend is uh, the CEO of Garuda. Jordi just walked around the whole airport looking to buy a water bottle and there was a vending machine right here. What did you want to say? So just to recap, because uh, I feel like I didn't explain myself properly earlier in the presence of the Garuda CEO. <laughs> you're a Westerner and you have a Kitas, or so if you're a foreign worker and you have a Kitas, you can go to ter gate 4 at terminal 3. At the Jakarta International Jakarta Airport. Jakarta International Airport by the domestic departures. And Garuda Indonesia is offering vaccines. Today's the first day that they're offering vaccines for Kitas holders. And that's downstairs. If you're a local ID card holder, then you can just go to the one upstairs and that's free of charge. The one for Kitas holders is 400,000, roughly 400,000. Uh, and they should get that done for you in the nick of time. Do you care to explain yourself to the vlog? <laughs> Jordan just gave me a freaking heart attack. So we're sitting at gate 12 and we're like, why is it not boarding yet? That's really weird. And Jordy's like, oh my God, we're at the wrong gate. <laughs> and so then he takes off sprinting like down the whole airport. And I like get all our stuff and I'm just like following him. And then I actually lost you just now. Uh, and I was like looking for you. And I was like, oh my God, I lost Jordy. Like, I don't know what gate I'm going to because I don't know where you're trying to go because I don't have the tickets or anything. Oh, no, uh, that's true. Uh, and you just like ran away. And I was like, oh my God, what are you going to do? You take Thank the you. <laughs> And um, and then it turns out we were at the right gate all along. But the thing is, like, it's like it, the boarding time's 10:20, and it's already 10:35, and we haven't started boarding. So, you know, <laughs> stressed. <laughs> the hotel and they're actually not letting us stay here i don't know they've made some new rule or something and we are not allowed to stay at the hotel tonight we have to go and try and find some other hotel to stay at we're just gonna like i guess go down the line of hotels i guess a new policy part of the pppkm that you can't stay at a hotel unless you're already in that region so they just basically rejected us you guys gonna join us on our lunch yeah. date we just ordered some sushi there's not really much of a table in the hotel so so we're having a picnic. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. Got stuck and didn't have a place to stay. And... But it's all fine, it all works out in the end. So we got uh, Ichiban sushi. Ichiban's like the McDonald's of sushi. Like, you, can't, you know what you're gonna get, and it's affordable and easy. Easy, and you just order it and you eat it. Let us know in the comment section what your favorite uh, kind of sushi is. Mine, personally, it's just, I think it's nigiri, where it's just like a piece of fish and rice. Mm. Mine's a spicy salmon roll for sure, or spicy tuna. Yeah. Cheers. <coughs> <coughs> Order try spicy food in Indonesia. That's, that's going to be the result. Alright, so all of our clothes are in those board bags and as you can see, it's been raining today. I really hope my clothes don't get soaked, but they probably will, but that's okay. You guys are so lucky you can teleport because we have a six hour drive, but for you, it's like 30 seconds. similar to a baboon but if we see another one we'll show you and for I'm, sure i'm really happy they're not in lombok because in lombok the monkeys used to come and like destroy our house they would like throw coffee on the floor break all the dishes and drink all the listerine so if we had seen like one of those monkeys in our house it would have like eaten the whole house yeah finally made it to the hotel oh uh, i don't know if i should say hotel it's more like a like a surf lodge i would call it a beach bungalow beach Bungalow. I'll give you guys a really quick tour today, but for the next month you'll be seeing us at, like vlogging from here all the time So you'll get a chance to really explore and experience everything out there with us 
All right, so this is our room. Really basic accommodation, but with AC. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're right on the beach and the surf is right out there. And then our friend Alex from Lombok is also here. Hey! <laughs> and he's been here surfing alone for a month, having the best time. Here's the outside of our little house. There's a swimming pool. It's pretty good. It's super nice to have a pool. We haven't had a pool in a long time. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah. Ooh, it would be nice to go for a swim. So I guess we haven't really told you where we are yet. Um, but right now we're in Sumatra. Sumatra! Woo 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 woo! Been an interesting journey traveling during the PPKM. We really wouldn't suggest it to anybody. It cost us way more than we expected. It took so much longer than we expected. So we wouldn't recommend it. Just wait till the 20th and then it'll be much easier for you to travel. I guess, yeah, you know, like if you want to come into Indonesia, you need a vaccine. And if you're already in Indonesia, traveling should get easier throughout the next couple of months so just be patient i think we'll spend um, roughly a month here and then we're thinking of going somewhere else but we'll see so every time thank you so much for watching if you liked this vlog please subscribe and give us a thumbs up it really helps our channel grow